Hi everyone, I will tell you about the extra features of Coordinator Pro. Coordinator Pro has cloud database features. You can create your own layers and collect data from field, just like the professional mapping softwares. You can work with your teammates simultaneously on the same layer. Also, you can export the collected data to KML or Excel file. Now, I'm going to give you some information about how to use these features. First, we are setting the defaults by clicking the button at the upper right corner. We are setting the default workspace as cloud. We are choosing the desired coordinate system. I'm choosing Indonesia 74 UTM6 and press OK. Then we come to my cloud tool by pressing on whether the navigation menu from the left or the shortcut at the bottom. Now we are on layers and sharing tool. We can create the layers we want. Let's say that we study on an electricity grid on the field. We assume that we are creating the pole and line layers. We are pressing create new layer and writing the name of the layer. Let's say pole and press OK. You can choose point, line or polygon as feature type. I select point and press OK. Here we determine the columns of the layer. I want to collect the type and height data of the poles. I write type. For the type of column, I can choose string, number, boolean or date. I'm choosing string and press add. Also I want height column. Choose the number as column type. Press add. Finally, I press create layer. My layer has been created. Also I am creating a layer with the name of line. I choose line for this. I want to cross section data of the line. So I define a column named cross section. Data type is string. Press add and press create layer. This layer has been created too. Now I can see the layers created by coming to the my layers tool. Let's mention about this screen. As you see, the name of the layer is at the very left side. The first symbol shows whether the layer is point, line or polygon. The XLSX button provides to export this layer as Excel file. You can modify the structure of the layer with the edit button. And with the delete button at the end, you can delete this layer completely. Let's come to back. Now I'm going to mention about the layer sharing. Of course, you can work with these layers on your own. But at the same time, you can work with your teammates simultaneously. And you can see the data created by your friends instantaneously. Coordinator Pro subscribers can work on a layer at the same time with multiple users. To be able to use these features, you should authorize the users you want. Now let's come to share my layers. You should enter the email address of the user we want to authorize. My email address is test.coordinatorapp. Let's assume that my friend's address is test2.coordinatorapp. When we press the find button, as you see, user account found message displayed. The layers which I created are listed below. I choose the authorization type for each layer. Let's say I give the read and write authorization for both layers and press authorize. Press OK. Authorization done. I have given the write and read authorization to the user. Later, I will show a demo for using the shared layers. Let's come to back. Similarly, you can request to share their layers from friends. When you enter the email address of the user and press send request, 
an email is sent to this user. When the user click the link on that email, the app is opened. Then the user can make the authorization just like I explained earlier. Let's come to back. Under layer sharing, the first one is layers I shared. You can see the layers shared before. You can see the layer name and authorization type. You can also update the current authorization. On layers shared with me screen, you can see the layers which other users shared with you. Let's come to the main screen. We have created the layers. So let's come to the collect tool. You can press on whether the navigation menu from the left or the shortcut at the bottom. On collect screen, there is three dot at the right. When I click this, a menu displayed here. When I click layers, the layers created before are listed. You can see the layers created by you and also shared with you. If you remove a layer from the list, you can long press on the layer. And later, if you want to add the layer again, I press add button and add this layer again. I should check the editable checkbox of the layer which I want to edit. Now I am checking the poll layer as editable and then press OK. Now let's long press on the map. As you see, a crosshair is displayed at the center of the map. I can pan the map and mark the desired point and then press on the crosshair. The form of the layer is displayed. Let's enter the attributes. 9 meters and concrete pole. Also, I can take a photo. After the attributes entered, I press on save. Now the object has been created on the cloud. When I press on the marker, the entered data is shown here. You can see the X and Y values as coordinates and the Z value as elevation. You can also see the coordinate system, created and updated users and dates. You can see the photo taken. Later, you can edit by pressing the edit button. Or you can delete this object by pressing the delete button. Let's add another poll object. Save. One more. Save. One more. Save. Let's draw a line on this pose. I'm choosing the line layer as editable. As you see, the button here is changed. I press the button and start drawing. We can determine corners by pressing on the crosshair. I can also click on the pole objects. If I click on the poles, the lines are snapped to the poles. To finish the drawing, I again press on the same button. The form will be displayed. I will enter the attributes and save. So first, I click on the pole and press on the crosshair. Click the pole and press on the crosshair. Click the pole and press on the crosshair. And then I press the same button at the left. I enter the attributes and press save. As you see, this line object is created on the cloud. When I press on the line, the attributes are displayed. Okay, we have made the drawings. There is an issue I want to mention here. You can work offline on these layers. The data are saved to the device cache. When you connect to the internet and open the app, the data on the device is being synchronized with the cloud. Let me show you. I am closing the internet connection. I am adding a pole object. You can see the message below. Cannot connect to the internet. The catch data will be synchronized when you are online. I need to tell you one more thing here. Sometimes when you work on the field, if the internet connection is poor, you can see the loading indicator at the center of the screen for a long time. 
This is because of the poor connection. It's trying to reach to the server and write data to the database. If you encounter such a situation, I advise you to close the internet connection, collect your data, make your drawings, and then when you have a strong internet connection, connect to the internet and open the app. The data automatically will be synchronized with the cloud. Now I will make an example about working with friends synchronously. The first user entered some data and then shared it with the second user. Again, I opened collect tool. As you see, the data entered by the first user is displayed on the second user's screen. Let's open the layers list. If the layer is your own layer, its text color is black. But if it's someone else's layer, then its text color is green, as you see. Press OK. Now, when the first user create an object, the second user will see it instantly. Let's create a pole object. When we press save, as you see, the object instantly appears here with green color, with a yellow colored effect. Let's draw a line with the second user. Choose line. Let's determine points. and press save. As you see, the polyline instantly appears on the first user's screen. Now I will tell you how you can export the collected data. You can see the export options in the drop-down menu. As you see, there are KML export and Excel export options here. You can export and then share the files. When you press on export the KML, first you should enter the file name. Let's say sample. It's done. It's asking for sharing. You can share this by pressing OK. This file has been saved to the main folder, which is my coordinates folder. I press cancel. Here, all of the open layers have been exported as KML. When you share this file with your friends, they can open the file by Open KML tool in this app. When you press on Export to Excel, you should enter the file name. Let's say Sample2. Press OK. And it's done. You can share this file too. Here, an Excel file has been created and each layers are on different sheets in this file. On the other hand, to save the current map, you can press on Save Project button. All layers and current display of the map is saved as a project. So that next time when you open the app, you can quickly continue your study. I press Save Project. Let's say My Project. Press OK. Project saved. Let's go back to the main screen. If you remember, this place was empty before. Now my project is here. When you press on this project, the project is opened with its latest view. Both the view and the layers are opened with its latest form. So that you can quickly continue your study. Let's mention about opening shapefiles. You may have some shapefiles. You can open these files. Let's make an example. Press import shapefile. I have a sample shapefile here. Press OK. Yes, shapefile is opened. When pressing on the objects, you can see the attributes, but you can't edit it. We have made this development because there are some requests about opening shapefiles. But remember that some coordinate systems of the shapefiles may be custom. These kind of files may not be opened. 
when you encounter such a problem, if you contact with us, we can work on that and try to solve it. Okay, these are the things I will say about the general features of the application. Thank you for listening to me. Have a nice work.